China's legislature has wrapped up its annual session with promises to control rising inflation, rein in rampant corruption, and reduce widening inequality in the world's most populous country. The nation's communist leaders hope improved living standards will curb growing expectations for political change, even as popular uprisings sweep the Arab world. At his annual news conference at the close of the session, Premier Wen Jiabao dismissed suggestions that China's authoritarian system made it susceptible to political unrest. We have followed closely the turbulence in some North African and Middle Eastern countries. We believe it is not right to draw an analogy between China and those countries. China has tightened security in the face of online calls for peaceful demonstrations in several Chinese cities. However, no obvious protest actions have emerged. Inflation in China topped 5 percent late last year and has remained stubbornly high. Rising prices have a history of triggering unrest in China, where hundreds of millions of poor farmers and low-paid workers scrape to get by. Every Chinese political leader is very sensitive about whether inflationary pressures are getting beyond what they view to be the boundaries that assure ongoing social stability. So I think this is very much front and center in their own concerns as they look forward to the coming months and year. At the news conference, Wen acknowledged that inflation was difficult to control. Inflation is like a tiger. Once it gets free, it is difficult to put back in the cage. The Chinese premier said political and economic restructuring should be coordinated, but he gave no indication that China was moving toward a multi-party system. Top Communist Party leaders are preparing to hand over power next year to a younger generation.